Hi, my name is JF Marlowe. I'm one of the instructors at Skills, and I do spend a lot of time in my kayak. I try also to spend as many hours fishing from it. Just ask my fishing with a wife. In case of an unexpected capsize, do you know what to do to get back in your boat? Maybe you know the concepts, but have you ever practiced? Go practice in controlled conditions so you learn the skills and the technique how to get back in your boat so it becomes second nature. Begin by ensuring that all your gear is securely anchored in place or tethered against loss. If your kayak's deck rigging doesn't provide enough lash points, you can add your own additional shock cords for added versatility. Losing your paddle could compromise your safety. If you do not carry a spare paddle, make sure you carry a paddle leash that secures your paddle to the kayak. There are two types of paddle float, the blow up one and the rigid foam one. For kayak fishing, use a rigid foam one. When you go fishing, use lots of sharp objects like a gaff a knife and obviously lots of hooks. All these objects can puncture the blow-up pedal float, making it useless. After a capsize, first secure your rod if you were fishing when you went over. Next, flip the kayak back upright. Grabbing your paddle float, slide it over top of your paddle blade. The float is securely anchored to the paddle by means of a strap and buckle. Wrap the strap around the paddle shaft, click the buckle, and then cinch it tight. The other blade is slid under dedicated bungees located just aft of the seat. Once in place, the paddle equipped with its float creates an effective outrigger, providing a ton more stability to your kayak. Next, aided by a powerful kick, haul yourself up and across your kayak. From there, staying as low as possible for better stability, regain your seat. Disassemble your paddle float outrigger and you can be on your way. The advantages of the paddle float rescue is that it is simple and reliable. The downside is you have to carry that bulky item with you. As with any self-rescue, after a capsize, take the time to organize your gear while always maintaining contact with your kayak. The cowboy re-entry is simple in concept. Gripping the edge of your kayak at its midpoint, haul yourself up onto your boat aided by a powerful kick. Stay low while taking your seat to maintain better stability. A variation on the cowboy is to climb back atop your kayak starting from the bow. For some swimmers, this will be a far easier climb back into the seat. Straddling the front of the kayak with your legs in the water as you slide towards the seat creates good stability and the bow cowboy remount works well as long as your rod and gear configuration affords you a clear path from the bow to the stern. The advantage of that rescue is you don't need any extra gear with you. However, the downside is to be successful, you need a certain level of agility. When I go fishing, I always carry a dry bag with me so I can put my catches in it so the smell, the blood and the slime is contained in it. So for the counterweight rescue, I will leave my uh, fish in it and also will fill it with water. If I don't have any fish, I just fill it with water and then I attach the dry bag to the paddle shaft and this will be the counterweight. As with the paddle float rescue, the counterweight rescue begins by rigging the paddle as an outrigger. Slide the paddle underneath the dedicated shock cords located just aft of the seat so that it extends out 90 degrees from the kayak. 
This time, rather than using buoyancy for stability, the swimmer will use weight, flooding a dry bag with water and then securely clipping it to the paddle shaft. Remounting from the opposite side, the counterweight's mass dramatically increases the kayak's stability as the swimmer climbs back aboard. Disassemble the outrigger, empty the dry bag, and you can be on your way. The come to weight rescue provides a lot of stability. However, you will be spending a little bit more time in the water as you rig the system to get back in. As well, the content of your dry bag will become wet. PP stands for Parallel and Park and is the best assistant rescue for sit on top kayaks and fishing specific kayaks. After a capsize, the swimmer signals his paddling partner to come to his aid. Coming alongside, the rescuer drapes himself across the hull of the overturned kayak, securing a solid grip on its far side carrying handle. His other hand is in position to apply downward pressure on the edge of the kayak closest to him. Working together, both the rescuer and swimmer flip the kayak back upright. Having secured any displaced gear, the swimmer now climbs back aboard his kayak, aided by a powerful kick. The rescuer stabilizes the boat by firmly gripping its side closest to him and applying downward pressure to offset the swimmer's re-entry. This rescue is very quick and highly effective, but you need somebody else with you. That just reinforces the value of having a paddling partner. Should a paddler become separated from his kayak after a capsize, there are a couple of strategies for transporting a swimmer. The swimmer carry technique has the swimmer hug the bow of the rescuer's kayak and wrap his legs around the front of the boat. In this configuration, the rescuer's kayak stability is uncompromised. But because the swimmer remains in the water, in cold conditions, this carry is only suitable for short distance tows. The seal carry has a distinct advantage of getting the swimmer's core up and out of the water, which will keep him far warmer in cold water conditions, but it can challenge the rescuer's stability, especially when the swimmer is climbing aboard. Usually for the stirrup rescue we use a climbing rope or a piece of webbing. A stirrup can be added to many different rescue techniques and is a good solution whenever a swimmer is struggling to climb from the water up onto their kayak. By looping a sling through the sit on top's carry handle and adjusting it to length, the swimmer gains a helpful step up, allowing him to use his powerful leg muscles to regain his seat rather than depending on upper body strength. My name is Jeff Marlowe, on the behalf of Skills, thanking you for watching and I am inviting you to come kayak fishing and paddling with us soon.